You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. The Mad Larks uh, Theatre Group are here live in the studio and they do their very special Christmas radio play live. Uh, this year it's called The Disappearance of Barnabas Gruff. So it's Christmas Eve and Mrs Shirley Haynes is preparing to take her dog Preston for a walk before setting uh, in for the night. All right Preston, we'll get going in a minute. I just have to find my gloves. Oh dear, where did I put them? Where are you going Preston? Oh clever boy, I would never have thought of looking for them there. Oh, I really must buy a new pair. It won't be long before there are more holes than glove. Oh, right, off to the park we go. <coughs> oh, what a beautiful night. Just look at all those stars. Christmas is such a magical time. When I was a little girl, we lived in the country and I was always worried that Father Christmas wouldn't be able to find us. But somehow, he always did. Oh, look Preston, a shooting star. That means we can make a wish. What should we wish for? <coughs> Preston. Good evening, Mrs. Haynes. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. Forgive me. Hello, Preston. Uh, have we met before? Uh, yes, uh, when you were younger. I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I've not seen you around here before. Uh, have you just moved in? No, I'm. Uh, I'm just visiting. <laughs> well, it was nice to have met you. But I have to get going now. Um, uh, Mrs Haynes, I, I don't want to impose on you, but uh, I do need your help. My help? Yes, I run a little um, a business and we have a lot of deliveries to make before tomorrow morning. No, I'm afraid I can't help you. I don't have a car and I really must get back home. <coughs> oh, please, Mrs Haynes, it won't take long. We've looked everywhere we can think of. If we don't find him, we just won't be able to make all the deliveries. Who are you looking for? Oh, he really has put us in a spot. He knows this is our busiest time. My wife suggested I should come to you. If it wasn't so urgent, I wouldn't have dreamed of asking for outside help. You will help, won't you? Mm, well... <coughs> all right. Uh, where is your shop? Uh, it's just here. Oh, my! <coughs> Oh, thank goodness you've come, Mrs. Haynes. I don't know what we would have done. Has my husband explained everything to you? Well, no, not really. I don't remember seeing this place in town. Will you help us find him, please, Mrs. Haynes? We're very worried about him. Who? Didn't my husband tell you? No. Well, it's Barnabas, Barnabas Gruff. He has a list, you see. He was supposed to give it to my husband three hours ago so we could load everything up, ready for the delivery <coughs> run. But he's gone missing and we can't find the list. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Can't your deliveries wait till Boxing Day? Oh, no, no, no. We have to deliver tonight. <coughs> well, uh, when did you last see... Barnabas. Uh, when did you last see Barnabas? We've been that busy all day, I can't really remember. Flurry was supposed to be helping Barnabas. This is the first year Barnabas has been in charge of the list, you see. He usually does everything else while we get ready for the delivery run. My husband thought, as he worked so hard for us, we let him do, sort out the list this year. He's so good at organising things. Can I speak with um, Flurry? Of course. Yes, Mrs M. Flubert, can you go up and fetch Flurry for me, please? Yes, Mrs. N. Come in, Flurry. This is Mrs. Haynes. She and Preston are going to help us find Barnabas. Oh, that's so kind of you, Mrs. Haynes. All of us in the workshop are so worried about Barnabas. When did you last see him? Well, uh, Philibert had just brought in the last lot of posts from our agent. There were a lot more names than we'd been used to. Not only that, but some of the things that were ordered we don't have in stock. That's right. So I said to Flurry, 
We better try and find other suppliers and we left Barnabas to sort out delivery schedule on his own. Wouldn't that have been difficult, not knowing if you had everything that was wanted? Well... Well, the thing is, we eventually came to the conclusion that there wasn't going to be enough time to get absolutely everything that people wanted. So we went back to help Barnabas, but he wasn't there. So what did you do? We came and told Mr N that Barnabas was missing. He said he'd sent Barnabas to the canteen to get him a cup of tea. So we went to the canteen, but Barnabas wasn't there. Had anyone seen him enter or leave the canteen? Bigelow, he's in charge of the canteen, said Barnabas, had been there helping to wash up all the dinner things. That's a lot of washing up. But then Faffle, he looks after the animals, turned up and said Barnabas had to help him clean out the stables. So we went to see Faffle. All the stables were cleaned out. That's so lot of And there was no sign of Barnabas. Did Faffle say if he knew where Barnabas went? He didn't know. Hmm. <coughs> Well, I think we'd better go down to the stables and perhaps Preston will be able to pick up Barnabas's scent. Oh, uh, do you mind if we don't come with you, Mrs Ames? We'd do a tea break. All this running about has worn me out. Would you be able to come with me, Mrs N? I don't know what Barnabas looks like. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs Ames. I should really go and find my husband. He'll need help sorting out this mess. If we can't find Barnabas. There's only a couple of hours left before we really do have to start the delivery run. As it is, I expect a lot of our customers are going to be disappointed this year. Oh, how could Barnabas do this? He might have been taken ill somewhere. Barnabas is never ill. Oh, right. Um, where are the stables? Out this door. Turn right, then it's second left and third right. You can't miss them. Well, I must get to move on. Thank you very much for your help, Mrs. Hames. Mm, right, then. Uh, come on, Preston. <coughs> Do you think you know where he is, Preston? <coughs> well, lead the way. <coughs> <laughs> Slow down, <coughs> Preston. I don't think this is the way to the stables. I wonder where we are. <coughs> Get away from me. <coughs> mm, hello. Uh, are you Barnabas? Yes. Who are you? Uh, my name's Shirley. This is my dog, Preston. Preston? The Preston? <laughs> yes. Hello, Preston. I've always wanted to meet you. What are you doing out here? You must be cold. Are you all right? Everyone's very worried about you. I doubt it. Uh, yes, they are. They're only worried about the list. Well, they did say that they needed it as soon as possible. You wouldn't want to let your boss down, would you? I'm sorry. I'm so tired. It's been Barnabas do this, Barnabas to do that all day. Then out of the blue, the boss says, Barnabas, can you do the list for me? Oh, please don't under misunderstand me, Mrs. Haynes. It's a very important job sorting out the list, working out everyone's in the right column. I'm sure it is. But Flurry and Philibert were helping you, weren't they? <laughs> is that what they said? Uh, yes, but then they had to go and try to find suppliers for all the stuff that you don't make here put their feet up in front of the fire more like. I managed to finish the list on my own, at least the best I could. It's not easy sorting out which column everyone should be in. No, I'm sure it's not, but I'm also sure that your boss wouldn't have given you the job if he didn't think that you were capable of doing it. So why are you out here? Why didn't you take the list straight to Mr N? I did, but as soon as I saw me, he went to get a cup of tea from the canteen. For some reason, I thought that the list was with me, and I went straight to the canteen. When I got there, before I could do anything, Figolo told me to get all the dinner things washed up. Just so I just finished, Faffel turned up and said I had to clean the stables out. I lost track of time. It was late when I'd finished, and I was so tired. I came out here just to rest for a moment, but I must have fallen asleep. Mm, well, I think that if you feel all right now, we should go back indoors. Everyone will be pleased to see that you are safe and well. Come on, up you get. Thank you, Mrs Haynes, and you, Preston. It was nice to meet you both. Barnabas, where have you been? Are you all right? Did you manage to complete the list? Yes, here it is. Sorry, I should have got it to you earlier. I hope it's not too late. Oh, it's fine, Barnabas. 
We've managed to get everything that people have asked for, after all. I'm sorry I put you under so much pressure. Well done. <laughs> I see you've put Mrs. Hames and Preston at the top of the list. Mm, I hope that's all right. Hmm, new gloves for Mrs. Hames. And a winter coat for Preston? I think we can manage that. Now, Barnabas, I think you deserve to go and get yourself something to eat and drink. Flurry and Philibert can help me load the sleigh. Oh, uh, good morning, Preston. Happy Christmas. I had such a strange dream last night. Oh, 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 oh. 